In this section, these things will be covered. Loading the washer, starting the washer, adding additives, and an explanation of a typical cycle. Sort the laundry according to color and type of fabric. Place a load of sorted clothes in the washer. The washer can be fully loaded, but not tightly packed. Clothes should be below the top of the basket. Do not overload the washer. Overloading can cause poor cleaning. Avoid washing a single item. If only one item is washed, the machine may become unbalanced and the cycle not finish. Detergent, bleach, and fabric softener are added to the appropriate dispenser. The manufacturer's directions should be followed for the amounts. The size of the load, soil level, water temperature, and water hardness should be considered when adding detergent. Since this washer is a low water wash system, HE detergent must be used. Once the washer is loaded, close the lid. The washer lid will be locked during washer operation. The lid can be opened only if the stop cancel pause has been selected or if the cycle has been canceled, depending upon the model. Some washers may have a power button that must be pressed to activate the control panel. A cycle needs to be selected according to the type of load or fabric. Each cycle has a preset cycle time, water temp, and spin speed. The preset settings provide the recommended fabric care for the selected cycle. The owner's manual will have details. Many washers have a control lock feature. On this model, the control lock is activated when the washer is running. On this model, normal has been selected. Next, any options or modifiers can be selected to enhance the type of fabric or load that is being washed. Once the washer has been programmed, the start button must be activated. On some models, this button must be pressed and held. On some models, if the start button is not selected within five minutes, the washer automatically shuts off. Once the start button is pressed on this model, the washer lid lock will engage and the washer will begin filling. The detergent will be dispensed at this time. Since HE top load washers use a low water wash system, they will only fill with approximately two to six gallons of water. A standard top load washer will fill to almost the top of the basket when a high water level is selected and can use up to 22 gallons per fill. The high efficiency washer will perform a series of fills and wash motion as it adjusts the water level. Notice that this machine does not have a tall agitator as seen on standard top load washers. High efficiency top load washers will usually have a different wash motion. If liquid bleach is used, it will be dispensed in the last few minutes of the wash. Once the wash portion of the cycle is complete, the washer will drain the water. Next, the washer will go into spin. Rinse is next. The washer will refill with fresh water. Fabric softener will be dispensed at this time. The washer will go through another series of fills to adjust the water level. Next, the washer will go into a final spin. The basket will stop and the lid will unlock. The cycle is complete. Some models, such as this one, may display a clean light when complete. Always refer to the owner's manual of the appliance for specific model information. The owner's manual will have information that covers installation, operation, safety, maintenance, and warranties. <laughs>